Hello. Some Sunday poetry, but these days, of course, I've been doing poetry almost every day of the week. But Sunday, special, and I'm reading from this amazing book, Mother-Daughter Dialogues. Paramita Di, Shankar Pita, this is your book and this video is for you. Um, I've loved the poems, I've loved the content, I've loved the idea. Um, Mother-daughter relationships, mother-daughter friendships, nobody documents these things. Um, these are societal uh, poetry, the way I look at it, because uh, they document feelings of a certain era. And thank you for doing this book. Uh, I'm sure most people will love reading this. A dialogue between generations, a special bond. Conversations by Paramita Di. Poet, Dr. Paramita Mukherjee Malik. Do you know how important conversations with you are for me? Every happening, every new thing in the house, I have to share with you. Your good mornings and good nights over the phone mean so much to me. I have to wish you well for the whole day. You and your happiness is what I pray for always. Your phone calls are like lifelines to me. Every silly bit of news, every silly bit of what's going on. What the neighbors and some friends said, some of your fathers and my wins. Love how you have excelled me in writing. So, sometimes taking help to make speeches and talks more interesting with your golden touch. You in your hostel, so far away, but the phone brings you closer. I adore the way you send photographs when you dress up. When I miss you a lot, again the phone comes in handy. I see you through the tiny box on a video call. My child, the apple of my eye. And Shankar Pita writes, calling home. Now this is when Shankar Pita was away in the hostel and Paramita Di um, and Shankar Pita were obviously communicating and these are poetry of different bits of their communication. So Shankar Pita writes, calling home. I cry and I cry and I laugh and I laugh and then I remember the call. Three roommates overtaking three separate corners of the room to call home. One with a earbud in one ear, one ear full of excited chatter from us and one ear filling up on stories from home on the phone. Me with the phone to my ear. My, my headphones nowhere to be found. The third pacing through the room, charging through the door, all animated, hushed, excited, annoyed, all at the same time. But we always remember to call home. To hear the latest gossip from home. To share the latest devious plan amongst friends and foes. To talk about the little victories and to talk about the woes. To cry and weep about not knowing this. Or knowing that when in the exam throws, to mourn broken friendships and to hear back, I never liked that person anyway. To talk and chatter and gossip and mumble and for you to hear what I patiently say. She broke her nose, he broke my heart and they broke a vase. Absolute nonsense followed by more nonsense. Followed by a list of daily tasks. One must tell you that their list of daily tasks and hear yours and hear your stories the sweet everything of what is happening at home and what some auntie said whose name I forget and yet I'm on your side because you're always on mine and we always remember to call. You forget I have an exam and call me in the morning and you would never forget if I was home but I'm away and learning. I tell you I will call you back and sometimes I don't. I message that friend sick or I have a headache or things just won't get better and sometimes I call and you text me. The network is bad amongst the music of the party or a generally chaotic matter and we forgive and forget 
and we get back on call and ramble on and on because despite everything you know i will always remember to call beautiful poems beautiful poems mother daughter dialogues i'm sure it's available on amazon i picked it up this book fair do get your copy